Our CES 2019 coverage is brought to you by Dbrand. Their grip cases and prism screen protectors mean 360 degree protection for your phone. Check them out at the link below. So we are here in the LG secret meeting room, whatever it is. This was the only place that we could actually get close to this thing. And it might not look like much. We got a speaker bar thing here. We got some art here and then two clicks of this button and bam we've got the rollable TV. So this is their OLED TV R, which is short for revolution, but we really think they should call it the Roled. Nothing, nothing, nothing. All right. So there's a few different ways you can use it. You can use it completely unrolled. You can use it up partially and there's kind of some smart applications. You can see the time, you can check the weather, that kind of stuff, or you can close it down entirely. Oh, I believe the halfway up also has uh, music support. There's a, there's a gallery thing that you can do. You can even start your music playing, roll the whole thing down, and then you've just got this discreet looking speaker that blends in with pretty much anything. Not that of course you'd want to just use it as a speaker because this thing is one heck of a TV. Now you guys are probably thinking there's got to be some kind of compromise to the image quality because of making it rollable. But in actuality this is exactly the same tech that we've always already seen. I mean LG has been showing us their OLED panel technology and all kinds of different form factors for years now. This is just the first time aside from that short-lived sort of curved TV thing that we saw for a bit there. This is the first time that we've actually seen dynamic rolling in a consumer product and the way that they've done it is really cool so on the show floor we got a lot of b-roll of this thing but we weren't actually able to get that close to it well here we can so it's actually got these arms at the back that I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna lower it you can see what they're gonna do is they're gonna kind of fold onto themselves and then we can't really see exactly what's in here. We know that there's a 4.2 100 watt speaker setup. Uh, we know all the IO and all the power for it is in here, but we can't see exactly how tight the TV rolls up, but we have to assume that it's gonna be, I guess, as loosely as they can. Now there's a couple things about the mechanism that we do know. We know that it's rated for 50,000 rolls and unrolls. So that would be four times a day for 32 years. And we also know that it's extremely quiet. That was a big question mark for us down on the show floor. We weren't sure, but uh, yeah, it's actually really impressive how quiet it is. Now back to things we don't know. When they're gonna ship this thing, uh, how much it's gonna cost. We could make some guesses given that this is their signature line and these are generally kind of supposed to be eye dropping as, oh my goodness, as opposed to a great bang for the buck. But frankly, I'm not even gonna bother. I'm just gonna sit here and admire the cool tech. Now we're about to head downstairs and check out the 8K displays that are supposed to come on sale later this year. But first, let's look at something that's really not ready for prime time, but is a great demo. So this is their 88 inch crystal sound OLED demo and behind the panel are five of what LG is calling exciters. And it seems to be working. Uh, basically, there's three that are handling the mid-range on the bottom part of the panel, and then two that are handling the highs, and they're claiming that they're able to get 80 to, I believe it was 140 kilohertz <laughs> frequency response out of this thing. But honestly, that's not what really blew me away. What blew me away was the positionality of the audio. So whether it's for watching movies or games, they've got some really great demos where you can really like, you can like feel the UFO moving across the screen and then somehow from bottom to top, though I'm not sure exactly how they did that last part. Hopefully we're gonna see this coming soon because then we can do away entirely with the speakers and, and all that other stuff. I mean, okay, you'll still need to put your game console and like maybe your computer and your set top. Okay, okay, we're not doing away with all this other stuff, but, but no speakers. Now we're down on the floor and this is the Z series. Yes, the entire Z series is one skew, an 88 inch 8K OLED TV that has a number of kind of unique characteristics. So number one is that it actually comes with this kind of artsy looking sort of frame style stand, but you don't actually have to use it. So we initially looked around the back of this thing and we were like, oh, that's kind of, that kind of sucks because there's no uh, vase amount. There's no way to like really do cable management in a in a meaningful way and what if this height isn't right for you what if you want like a shorter or a, or, a, or a taller stand so as it turns out the way that it actually works is you can take the whole thing off of the stand and it's got these kind of downward firing speakers and reflectors so you can just run it as a standalone tv if you want or you can put it on the stand now 
there's not a ton that we really know about it. It's got their new Alpha 9 Gen 2 processor, which helps with 4K to 8K upscaling, as well as it uses AI to like do better noise reduction and all that kind of stuff. And we don't really know when it's going to be available, and we don't know pricing. Oh. <clears throat> Hi. Hi, how's it going? Sorry, I mean, hey guys. <laughs> you know, you're not going to be able to get away from that can until you can stop I just saying give a it. Shout out to Linus. Can I just, I'm just going to like jump off for a second. He's got an LG Gram with his notes right beside the camera right now. Can you just show? I'm not even hiding it. That's really impressive. Look how <laughs> I memorized my notes. I had to check my phone like every five seconds to memorize my notes. That's very impressive. That's not memorized. You're That's checking your phone every five seconds. And then I have to memorize. So the launch is supposed to be sometime in Q2. We have no price and it's got Google Assistant and Alexa. Woo, woo. So here's a bit of a better look at the fancy stand. So that panel in the middle seems like it comes off for a vase amount and then that panel gives us the IO. We don't really know how this like cable management they've got going on here works, but that's all kind of TBD. What has a more basic stand is their NanoCell 8K TV. So just like that one, the entire lineup here is one model, a 75 inch model that's 8K NanoCell equipped with the same Alpha 9 Gen 2 processor and their local dimming Pro, which has twice as many dimming zones as their non-Pro, but we don't know how many the non-Pro has, so it's not that meaningful. We have no brightness numbers on this, but uh, same thing should be available later this year. What's not available later this year, because it's available now, is the D-Brand Grip. The D-Brand Grip is the super life-proof case from D-Brand. It's precision cut, so it's got cutouts for your camera, fingerprint sensor, whatever else you need. It's got their trademark super clicky buttons, and of course it's D-Brand, so you can customize it with one of their true textured 3M vinyl skins in whatever look suits you best. The really cool thing that's totally unlike anything they've done before though is their prison screen protectors. These things are kind of unbelievable. They've got this really neat applicator that makes it so you can put it on perfect every time and the impact resistance that this, that this adds to your display absolutely blew me away. Nothing in the demo is staged. You put it on, you hammer a nail in with it, you take the thing off and your screen is still pristine underneath. I mean, obviously it, there are limitations if you were to you know, hit it with a sledgehammer, yes, you would, you would shatter your entire phone, not just the screen. But in, I've never seen anything quite like this in terms of just a slap-on screen protection product. So check it out at the link in the video description. Guys, don't miss any of our CES 2019 coverage. Um, probably the rest of it that you see will be after the show actually opens and there's not like skyjacks all over the place, but yeah, who knows.